हेलो एवरीवन आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी एंड राइट नाउ आई एम विद डॉक्टर सत्यशील पवार हु इज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ मैकेनिकल एंड मेटेरियल्स इंजीनियरिंग आईआईटी मंडी सो सर मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन अवर योर एजुकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी यस सर सो सर बिफोर गोइंग अहेड प्लीज टेल एस अबाउट योर एंटायर जनरी हाउ यू रीज दिस पोजिशन ओके सो I belong to Kolhapur in Maharashtra. That's where I did my schooling, and then uh, until my bachelor's degree, I was uh, still in Kolhapur. I did my bachelor's in production engineering from Shivaji University. Uh, after that, I worked in Pune for a year with uh, one of the solar water heater manufacturing company. Uh, after working for a year, I thought of uh, having my master's degree, and I went to Sweden to pursue my master's degree in solar energy engineering, more specifically. then as part of my master's thesis i went to epfl in switzerland that's where i continued uh, to work with a startup company for a couple of years so after working in switzerland i moved to uk to work with uh, a dyson sarat solar cell manufacturing company called g24 innovations uh, after working with them for a couple of years i decided to pursue my phd and i moved to australia to do my phd from monash university on dyson sarat solar cells after completing my uh, phd i worked with uh, ntu singapore for two and a half years to as my post doctoral research on perovskite solar cells and after that i moved to moved back to iit moved back to india and joined iit mandi in uh, june 2015 in between i also took a break and went to sweden to work as program director for masters in solar energy engineering at dalarna university and i joined back iit mandi last year july as associate professor recently i got uh, uh, sjvn chair associate professorship at iit mandi and now i am affiliated with uh, iit mandi uh, school of mechanical and materials engineering very nice sir very nice so you have exposure of different uh, countries and different universities uh, through this globe yes. so it uh, definitely it increases the uh, knowledge Sure, too much yes. extent yes so sir uh, right now in iit mandi okay first of all you have stayed in different foreign countries yes so most of the people who go their higher education there especially masters and phd they don't come back but you came back to india so is there any reason for that yes yeah, also i always wanted to serve for my own country and that's the reason i wanted to come back and uh, i thought of uh, a right platform to get back in india through iit and indian institute of technology uh, which is one of the good brand where you get a uh, lot of research activities as well as a lot of freedom in the sense that uh, you can uh, you can implement your ideas so that's why i chose to come back uh, at iit mandi so that is a very nice decision sir because uh, we should go <laughs> outside also for gaining uh, knowledge of different technologies but if we work if we decide to work in our country then it will definitely increase the research level in our uh, nation also definitely it is a nation service thank you for that thank you <laughs> so uh, you are mainly working in solar energy yes yes so i at present mm -hmm. what are different research areas in which you are currently working or you have planned to work in near by future So I am currently working on uh, the, this particular technology, is, which is named as perovskite solar cells. Pero? Uh, perovskite. Perovskite solar cells. Okay. I am working on process development so that it can be taken to the manufacturing level. Okay. So, and uh, because this is a new technology, it's recently just started to come in the market. So there is no uh, global competition as of now. Okay. so that's why if we could solve this problem and start our own manufacturing we don't need to rely on import of materials okay so this is one of the idea that i'm working on this area but at the same time i'm also working on uh, some of the local issues uh, along with uh, a colleague dr atul dhar we developed a smokeless chula which is a need for himalayan region so this is how we are looking at the the product level as well where we can solve the immediate problem or we can take it to the application directly so there is another product which we are working on right now is uh, solar thermal and electric a hybrid oven where we can use that oven like a normal otg either in electric mode as we are using it in house we can use it in solar thermal mode or we can even use it in hybrid mode where we can use 
where we can save energy as well as time so when it comes to solar mode it it saves energy but takes time when it comes to electric mode it's it 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 saves time but uh, spends energy so we are trying to find the the best possible scenario then we are trying to find uh, we are trying to give the users a flexibility that based on their own need they can uh, target and uh, work on that the other area i'm working on because since solar energy is rapidly increasing the solar energy utilization in india is increasing very fast so we are look, now looking at analyzing different technologies when it comes to not only the the cost but also the life cycle assessment so that we understand what is the global warming potential in throughout the life that solar cell can produce so what is the carbon dioxide emission the solar cell will emit of course solar cell doesn't emit when it comes to the operation but when it comes to manufacturing and end of life recycling there is co2 emission so we are now trying to look at what are the technologies to have the maximum benefits in terms of environment it's not only the economic so it's techno economic and environmental analysis we are working on and that's where we are looking at different technologies how to choose the best possible site where you can get maximum benefit so this is again useful for industries to choose the best possible site where you can not only have the uh, the economical benefit of course we are looking at economic benefit but at the same time we are also trying to tag in tag along with environmental benefits the other area uh, we are working on because since we are looking at uh, this uh, different technologies how to which technology to choose uh, which technology is more useful in terms of uh, carbon dioxide then we are applying this uh, technical multi criteria decision making which is a statistical technique uh, this uh, that technique to apply to choose the best possible scenario and best possible technology that is uh, another area which when it comes to industrial uh, so when it comes to the the choosing of uh, or industrial engineering aspect of technology and then the last aspect is application that's where we are looking at in terms of solar we are looking at uh, how does it benefit how can we get benefited through agrovoltaic where we are trying to com combine the agriculture and solar installations that's where we can increase the yield of the land so that we can have maximum benefits from the land and uh, that's where uh, we can we can showcase that the far how farmers can improve their earnings through the same land yes so this is one application we are looking at at the moment and then the second application uh, on solar side we are looking at the floating solar where anyway in in india we are uh, developing the the floating solars where where we are Uh, having installation floating on the dams floating on the rivers then uh, how can we uh, benefit from let's say recycling of the uh, the the floats the hdpe particularly that material which goes in and how do we use the fly ash so that it's completely environmentally <coughs> friendly floaters so this is uh, another aspect we are looking at in terms of manufacturing we are also exploring the processes of 3d printing so can we 3d print the solar cell can we 3d print the uh, let's say perovskite solar cell can we 3d print the silicon solar cell uh, for particularly for perovskite solar cell we recently got a funding from uh, dst we are developing the process to 3d print these perovskite solar cells so of course there is like lot of spectrum but uh, that's we are trying to cater so in energy sector the iit mandi also has dst no there are 20 dst one is at iit mandi i think Uh, no the dst is uh, the department of science and technology uh, so they have this this comes under ministry of science in delhi and then they have distribute the research funding to different iits and uh, this is one of the call there was one specific call additive manufacturing technology amt under that call we received this funding for developing 3d printing for solar cells okay so suppose uh, some industrialist mm -hmm. they have problems mm -hmm. okay and they want solution so what kind of support they can get technical support from your side so for example we are now working with sjvn sjvn it's satlaj jal vikas nigam so they uh, established a chair professorship at iit mandi and i am one of the awardee so i'm sjvn chair associate professor at iit mandi so i'm working with sjvn in particular to develop some of the solutions for their need on in terms of solar uh, farm installations and maintenance and monitoring so if for example if there is any company who are willing to uh, get associated with uh, us in terms of when it comes to energy uh, 
uh, we have one example we have uh, one one company called plus technology they wanted to get a demonstration done for space heating application so we have one uh, established one room of 1 meter cube 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter and we have uh, established uh, a space heating uh, setup where we are applying where we are using their own phase change material and we are testing and we are giving a third party validation in short so in that sense we can work uh, on that part as well as if any company wish to have some development in when it comes to the spectrum of energy we are very like we would like to welcome them to come and work with us okay so sir like uh, uh, in today's time we are looking at uh, some new technology as there like 3d printing as mm -hmm. you said mm -hmm. or solar energies mm -hmm. so if agri india may puri tarah se successful ho jati to like a revolution now mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. can we uh, say that the, there is a huge scope in solar in energy like if someone is uh, getting enter into mtech mm -hmm. or he want to find कि या इस फील्ड में मेरे को जाना है तो क्या सोलर एनर्जी इज अ बेस्ट ऑप्शन और सम लाइक दैट या सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू एनर्जी बिकॉज़ एनर्जी इज फॉर श्योर नीड ऑफ एवरीवन एंड दे इट्स राइजिंग एक्सपोनेंशियली सो व्हेन वी लुक एट द एनर्जी डिफरेंट एनर्जी सोर्सेस ऑफ कोर्स वी वी हैव दिस कन्वेंशनल फॉसिल फ्यूल वेयर कोल ऑयल एंड गैस सो ऑल दोस इंडस्ट्रीज दे आर स्टिल गोना बी अराउंड but when it comes to carbon uh, emission etc etc we are now focusing on renewable energy sources in renewable energy sources of course hydro is one of the dominant supply uh, but in recent years if you look at the the installations what are happening in solar energy they are increasing very rapidly so for example uh, in uh, government of india has promised to have 100 gigawatt of installation by 2026 at 2028 i, I believe and then the eventual uh, promises we will have 175 gigawatt of installation and right now the numbers are around 41 42 gigawatt of installation so there is a huge gap to be filled so that's why we will have will still need uh, experts working in this particular field and not only from the uh, the installation side but also from manufacturing side the monitoring and uh, so post installation operation and maintenance Uh, monitoring so those type of gaps needs to be filled so that's why there is a still a lot of demand uh, moving forward in solar energy field particularly that's why I, of course it's my own field that's why i do support solar energy okay okay great sir so aisa hota na ki kuch students bolte hai ki aaj revolution lekar aana hai hame wo kaam karna hai ki jahan se hamara naam jyada hai to jaise ye solar energy hai ki aaj ke time pe sabse jyada होने वाले टाइम पे ये सबसे ज्यादा काम आने वाली है क्योंकि पैसा हमको बचाना इकोनॉमिक सॉल्यूशन तो इसलिए लोग सोचते तो हैं तो क्या वाइक के अंदर एक गाइडेंस की भी कमी होती है लोगों के अंदर कि पता नहीं है कि सोलर एनर्जी नाम तो सुन लिया सर दिस इज सोलर एनर्जी भी इसके अंदर काम करना है क्या इसके अंदर आगे जाके कुछ ब्रांचेस डिवाइड हो जाती है कि सोलर एनर्जी भी अब इस लाइन में जाओ या इस फील्ड में जाओ कैसा कुछ होता है हाँ तो सोलर एनर्जी के अंदर हम जब जाते हैं तो सबसे पहला डिवाइड आता है सोलर थर्मल एंड सोलर फोटो solar thermal me basically we are trying to capture the heat and utilize that heat for uh, some application where you need a heat and then the other type is uh, you convert directly into electricity you produce electricity and uh, in even if we talk about photovoltaics field you have aspect of manufacturing you have aspect of uh, installation you have aspect of uh, operation and maintenance you have aspect of monitoring you have aspect of recycling because whatever you are installing at end of 25 years you will have a little lower production that's where you need to replace the solar cells the, the life of solar cell will go on it's not that the, the solar cell will die at 25 years life will go on but at 25 years generally companies replace so that to have more productivity of the same land uh, so so these are the different aspects which come under Okay. so learn and with respect to this criteria uh, one can choose only uh, material science also yes but material he or she should choose for this photovoltaic yes. like that so ye bhi aap wo choose kar sakte hain yes so it can be uh, material development material processing manufacturing so those uh, aspects will come as a downstream value supply okay. uh, supply chain and then the in upstream you have other things like installation post installation everything yes. ओके सर सो नाउ सपोज देर इज समूडेंट डूइंग बी टेक इन एनी कॉलेज मे बी फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र ओके और एनी अदर स्टेट 
एंड ही वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन सम हायर एजुकेशन कोर्स ओके एंड सपोज देर इज समूडेंट हु हैव लैक ऑफ गाइडेंस दैट वेयर शुड आई गो ओके सो इफ ही वॉन्ट इफ वी सजेस्ट हिम और हर टू ज्वाइन यू वॉट रिक्वायरमेंट्स डू यू सी इन स्टूडेंट्स so post for the post graduation for mtech we have the uh, the admission the criteria so for example the student needs to have a gate qualification either if the, uh, if the student is from any cfti uh, centrally funded technological institute right after btech they can directly even join phd without a gate qualification if their cgpa is more than 8 of course there are criteria uh, which anyone can go and look at iit mumbai's website and uh, then they need to apply formally into the central application system and that's where they will get shortlisted when it comes to a post interview they have a choice to join the, the the guide of their choice the the project of their choice so of course the student have a lot of flexibility when it comes to you know IIT what uh, knowledge uh, in, in terms of knowledge it can be uh, even mechanical engineering electrical engineering these days ai we are also working on some robotic applications of uh, uh, for when it comes to the cleaning mechanism of uh, solar modules we are looking at the robotic application so there are various different backgrounds right from materials to mechanical electrical electronics uh, uh, ai robotics so all those branches can of course uh, come under the, the, all the, the projects which i mentioned so it's there is a wide variety of uh, student background that i can take the students from okay sir any message you want to give to the students uh, so of course uh, please do care for the sustainability and the future development and uh, good luck with your career okay sir thank you very much it was very nice discussion and we got much important information from you thank you thank you very much for this opportunity once again